By the way, these are all bars. <laughs> yeah. I got to rap about zebra cakes. <laughs> What's up, world? I'm Joey Badass, and these are New York Bodega Snacks. <laughs> so first of all, a bodega is a New York City essential. Bodegas might be primarily the reason why I've never left New York. And it's hard to leave because I just can't get over the fact of it being 3 a.m. and me not having any options. That's what a bodega is. It's a 24 seven essential all in one shop stop store. All right, so first off, I got some pastries right here. You know, I got the nice Lady Linda honey bun. This is a classic certified. Hostess, coffee cakes, and a zebra cakes. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what this cake roll business is. I'm an OG zebra cake head. They trying to make a Twinkie? The fuck is going on here? But zebra cakes is also very good snack, very underrated. The, these is like the after school snacks right here. You know what I'm saying? It's like you had a long day in school answering a whole bunch of math questions that you probably were never even gonna need in life. You leaving, you, you walk to the bodega that's right around the corner from the school or right across the street and you go get you some, some pastries because you got a sweet tooth. It's 3.45 and you know what I'm saying? You want to feel a little nice. You want a little sugar rush. So you go get your zebra cakes and your coffee cakes and your honey buns. Mm. Mm hmm I still got that same crunch when you bite into it. I love that. So next up, we moving on to the drinks. Right now, I got a Arizona iced tea, classic flavor, and I got two quarter waters. These right here got us through some tough times. This this is literally, literally cost a quarter for some juice. God knows what the fuck they put in this shit, but boy, did it quench our thirst when we needed it. Desperate times go for desperate measures. <laughs> That's how I explain it. In Arizona, iced tea, this is also a classic. We used to just call these Aries. You got Arizona every morning before school, and that was it. You bake an egg and cheese with your Arizona, and you were set. You had the breakfast of a champion. Perfect. You move on unless you want to take a sip? No. <laughs> <laughs> I drink water now. <laughs> Real water. We got some Kisco Freezies right here now. If you've never seen these right here, let me tell you, these are a bodega classic. You walk to the bodega, you say what up to Art, to, right in front of his um, register or whatever, he got the freezer. And you open up the freezer, and then boom, they got a whole bunch of Freezies, any color, any flavor that you need. Shit, every day of the summer, in best style, you know, we was going to the corner store, look, getting some Freezies by 1 p.m., and we probably already had a zebra cake by then, you know, but yeah, this is, this is an essential right here. This is very nostalgic, me seeing this. <laughs> Well, yeah, so right here I got uh, Tate's Bake Shop cookies. Now, I must say, I really do like Tate's cookies, but this is something that was introduced later on in life. Once the neighborhood started changing up a little bit, got a little bit more gentrified, we got introduced to some more gourmet high-level snacks. Say say you walk into a bodega and you see these, you're probably real close to Williamsburg, Park Slope, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't got these in the bodega, you probably in Flatbush, you in Crown Heights, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe Best Stop, maybe some of the bodegas in Best Stop still didn't get these yet, but I know some, it, it hit some of those stores out there, but the snacks in the bodega could tell you a lot about where you at. Like if you just dropped in the bodega, like say you got kidnapped and you woke up, oh, I'm in the bodega. You look at the snacks on the shelves, you could probably figure out where you at geographically. You got to be cool with, with, with your guy in the bodega because then you build a level of trust. And once you got the level of trust, you know, your moms can send you to the corner store and, and, and you know, get that six pack of beers and like he won't trip because he know, he know it ain't for you, but it's very important to have a relationship with your bodega man because he's part of the community. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like knowing the fucking crossing guard or some shit like that. Shout out to my man, Mike. I think he went back to Armenia and shit, but like, if you see this, love. Got the Vienna sausages. By the way, these are all bars. <laughs> yeah. I gotta rap about zebra cakes. <laughs> I gotta rap about all of this shit. All right, so now right here, <laughs> What I have is Vienna sausages. This is super nostalgic for me. This is uh, 
satisfied my hunger on, on, on many days, many, many, many times in my past, in my adolescent years. I used to feed for these Vienna sausages, pause. <laughs> I used to wake up my grandmoms at like all hours of the night, like, can you make some sausages and shit, please? My, my belly hurting and shit, like. I've been eating Vienna sausages since the packaging was red. Like this blue shit, this is new. That's how long I've been on Vienna sausages. But I do not eat these anymore, thank God. I, I probably haven't ate one of these in like no bullshit, like 10 years. But boy, did it satisfy my hunger when I was younger. My name is Joey Badass, and you're watching Snack. These are my personal favorites. I hope you enjoyed that. Keep it locked. Snack! <laughs> <laughs>